If you want something out of life, if you want to change yourself, if you want to acquire something, if there's some goal that you want to reach, it's really not easy as some people will make us feel. That living your dream, changing your behaviors, overcoming negative habits, it's challenging. It's hard. That living alone is just very difficult. And once we begin to come to grips with the fact that living is difficult, you will never ever have a problem-free moment in life. If it ain't one thing, it's another. If it ain't one thing, it's 12 others. I mean, there's always something. You'll get scared sometimes. Your mind will go blank on you. Some people you will allow to unnerve you. And you wonder, what's wrong with me? I'm not crazy. That's why you've got to learn to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to stand up inside yourself. Stop living your life like you have a thousand years to live. In life, you're either here today and you're gone today. If there's something that you want to do and you can't do it all at one time, do just a little bit of it. Do just a little bit of it. Decide that you're going to take some time to work on you, that you deserve that from yourself, that your life deserves some prime time because you are creating your own production. You are the star of your show. You are the director. You're writing the script. And you will determine whether your life is a smash office hit or flop. If you don't believe in yourself, it won't happen for you. You've got to focus on you. And as you convince you, as you sell yourself, every day, every day, every day, you will begin to see a difference in the things that you're doing. Most of us don't use the stuff that we have brought into the universe. And we want to make a conscious, deliberate, determined effort to start living life with a sense of urgency and using what we've got, using ourselves up sharing what we brought into the universe to share because if we don't nobody else will stop wasting valuable time many of us never realize our greatness because we become sidetracked by secondary activity we spread ourselves too thin don't know how to say no and we find ourselves doing all kinds of things and never ever have time to do those things that we need to do to work on ourselves. And then there goes a second, there goes another second, there goes another second, and we can't stop and hold time. And before you know it, you wake up one day and you're behind on your dreams and your bills. If we begin to live our lives as if each day were our last, our lives will take on a whole new meaning. Part of doing that is standing up to yourself. You've got to stand up inside yourself sometimes and say, shut up! If I speak it, I'm going to live it. It's who I am. And I'm going to be very cautious in how I give my word to others, and most of all with the commitments that I make to myself.